Hey everybody, this is Tony Deligio with Plastics Technology Magazine. I'm joined today by Sheldon Alexander, and we're going to be talking about the part that uh, his company, Husky, has submitted along with Magor Mold um, for the first ever Hot Shots Parts competition, which will be a part of Molding 2021 coming up uh, this September in Chicago. So uh, starting off, Sheldon, I wondered if you could kind of talk about the part itself. Um, it looks like we've got a, a medical diagnostic array and that your guys as Husky's ultra shot technology was actually allowed the molder who's gonna remain anonymous to uh, dramatically increase the number of cavities for, for the tool for this application. Yeah, so as you, uh, as you said, Tony, the part is a med medical diagnostic array. It's a pretty small part uh, in that it's 0.5 gram uh, part weight uh, and it's 0.5 millimeter thick. It's basically a round disc. Uh, a little bigger than a uh, than a quarter. Um, the customer is molding this part today in a two cavity system, but uh, but they're struggling quite a bit. Um, so high scrap rate, high injection pressure, uh, a lot of warpage issue, a lot of part quality issues. And the challenge that we took on is to increase the cavitation and improve the part quality. And what we used is a eight cavity uh, ultra shock system uh, with a Magol mold, as you mentioned. Um, and what we were able to do with that system is to really mold a part that I think would be considered uh, unmoldable in the industry. Um, so, for example, the part fill pressure, just the pressure to fill the part, this doesn't include the pressure losses uh, through the machine or the pressure losses through the hot runner and in uh, in all cases out in the industry but just the part fill pressure was over 40,000 psi and we were able to mold that as i said in a in an eight cavity uh in an eight cavity mold uh the balance was near perfect which is something you need on a part that's this difficult on a multi cavity tool um we were able to hit all the quality requirements for the customer cycle time requirements so it was, uh, it was a pretty successful project. No, most definitely. And I will say, um, when I first opened up the image of the part, I did not think it was molded. <laughs> so that's a, a good right. indication of how difficult. Yeah. And it, let's, let's dive a little deeper into the part itself. So this is actually used to store biological samples for infectious disease, um, like virus sampling and testing, including COVID-19. And, you know, I guess to, to help our um, viewers of this video understand it, it, the, the wall thickness, I mean, you mentioned it's a 0.5 millimeter, but it actually goes down to 0.3 millimeters, and then you actually have some through holes as well. So, I mean, if you could talk about the challenge of, you know, that particular geometry um, was already thin wall and it gets thinner, and then, and then you have these these pockets as well um, in, in molding this out of polycarbonate. So maybe if you could kind of touch on, you know, what you guys saw and, and what you had to do from a hot runner and, and mold perspective to make that possible. Yeah, good, uh, good, good point. So yes, uh, you know, if if you look at this part, um, it, if it didn't have uh, the dozens of holes in the middle, it would be a challenge in part in itself, right? So if the wall thickness was just 0.5 and tapered down to 0 0.3, um, that would be a challenge in part in itself, um, just from uh, from a flatness perspective. Uh, to keep a part of this design flat uh, and not potato chip would be extremely difficult, assuming you can even fill the part. But then you add in the dozens of holes that's required um, for the part functionality. As you said, it's a, it's a medical diagnostic array part. Um, when you add in those dozens of holes, the flow area is dramatically reduced. Uh, that's one, so the pressure goes through the ceiling. Uh, the speed and the, the, the profile at which you need to fill this part is extremely important. So you need to get up to speed instantly and you need to stay at a constant speed as you're filling through these webs past these dozens of holes. Uh, any hesitation, any slowdown of filling and you're not filling this part. Uh, in addition, as I said, the potato chipping or the warping that is uh, very likely impossible with a part like this uh, makes it uh, extremely challenging um, to fill. 
Well, uh, Sheldon, thank you uh, very much for um, speaking with me today. And we're excited to have this part as part of the first ever Hot Shots Parks competition that will be at the Molding Conference this September in Chicago. I want to thank you, Husky, Magor Mold, and the unnamed Molder for kind of throwing your hat in the ring for this competition. Thanks again.